folks, I am here to share a, uh, well, I'm going to share a, a haul. <laughs> I actually went to Target on a mission to get my Portland to Coast gear, the stuff I'm going to wear to do my walk, um, my charity walk for. And I looked over and I saw a giant cart full of Halloween. Now, they didn't have it all. I did not find the washi or the haunted tags or any of that. I was kind of bummed. But I did find some stickers and some other little goodies. So I did find these and I picked them up. I'm sorry for the glare, you guys. Really love the pumpkins. I love that they're different colors. And they are felt, I believe. I don't know how many you get in there. It does not say, but these were in the dollar bin. So aren't those super cute? Great for my Halloween mini albums. So I have a lot of paper to make them, but I don't have a lot of specific embellishments. So I looked over and they had packages of these and I did buy all they had actually because I because I go through these really fast on my tags. This is like that gauze and it was trim. These are great for my tags on my mini albums. So I picked up all of the gauze ribbon. And then I did pick up, I thought I picked up four of these, but I guess I picked up three. I did pick up this because it's gold and black. What is this one called? Baker's Twine. I did pick up all three of these because most of the recollections paper I picked up is the gold and the black. So I picked up those. I also did pick up two of the orange and black because it matches the other ones. Aren't these super cute? And then I picked up four of these. And it's called Leather Ribbon. And I thought this would be awesome uh, for, to put on my pullouts in my mini albums. So I picked up all of those from um, Target. I'm sure they'll have more and more and more out as it gets closer to Halloween. But right now, I didn't really need a whole bunch of that at the moment. I was actually on a mission. But while I was there, I thought, oh my gosh, Tuesday mornings is around the block. You know what? I might, might as well go. It's in the same parking lot. So... I went and I did pick up more of these scissor packs. They had a gazillion of them. So, and I have used these folks and I really do like them and they were 99 cents. So that's the skew. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I did meet a sweet little girl there. Her name was Elena. So hi, Elena. <laughs> she asked if I'd give her a shout out. So there you go, lady. And I also picked up this. It is double-sided grays and blacks, and I thought, oh, this is perfect for Halloween. They had a lot of these. That's the skew. It was $2.99. That's a really good deal for, you know, you get 48 sheets, so that's a really good deal, and there's all these great Halloween spooky colors. I also picked up the basil in bone color and the basil in the, I want to say, puke green color, <laughs> but, you know, Christmas and Halloween both for those, so... Perfect. Now they did have a lot of new stuff. Um, I finally got to see the graphic 45, but it was still wasn't. I'm kind of picky. I want it to be the whole collection or I won't get it. And I don't want to have to search all the Tuesday mornings to find the whole collection, so I just bagged the whole idea. But I do have some of the botanical tea, so I did pick up these. I know that you guys have hauled these, but I have some botanical tea, so I will be making um, some stationery boxes, but there won't be stationery boxes. They will be tea boxes. So, wanted to share that with you. I also picked up these, the do-it-yourself little bags, little tag bags, treat bags. Um, now, the new thing, oh, and this, and I've seen this hauled too, but they have butterfly wood chips, so that's the skew for those, just if you have not seen them. But they did have something new. They had some new spellbinders situations. So, first thing I picked up was this right here. And this is the skew. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the skew. It, I could not believe the price. I'm always looking for cloud and um, and sunshine papers all the time. But this is a stamp and die set. So if you see these, there's a couple of different ones of these. There's a peacock, Miss Victoria. Um, oh, and Miss Virginia. And there's a couple ladies that I love that love peacocks. Um, so... There is a stamp and die for a peacock one as well, but I always thought, you know, I don't have any of these and I always look for them, so I did pick that one up. I don't care much for the sentiments as much, but I do like this, so that was good. Now, here's where the fun spellbinders comes into play. So they have the Gilded Life is out. This was the only one of the strip dies that I loved, this embosses and die cuts. Um, 
they had, I think, five or six different kinds, but this was my favorite. Isn't that beautiful? And that's the skew. Oh, it's just so pretty. I cannot wait to use this in a mini album. Then they had all these fun charms. So I did pick up two of these. This is a locket, folks. There's the skew. It's a locket. And I also picked, there's another one up with a heart. Oh, let's double check. I picked up a few that were the same and then some that were not. So um, this has corresponding dies. These do not, but these are locket charms. Beautiful. Then I picked up two of these. These are the dance card pendants. These are pendants. And believe it or not, that's a skew. These actually have little notebooks and itty bitty pencils. How darling is that? Oh, these are so beautiful. I've never even seen this or even heard of this collection. Um, I did pick up this, which is also a beautiful pendant. They have another one just like this with a cherub right here, which I did not pick up. But I thought, oh, that's just so pretty. I love it. I also picked up one of each color of these. Now, they have corresponding dies that fit the shapes of these. Um, if you want to see the skew on one of these, there it is. Uh, they do have corresponding dies. I did not see the corresponding dies for these, so just FYI. I did pick up two of this size. Oh, just they're so beautiful. There's the skew. And then I did pick up one of these, and they had... And see, these have corresponding dies, too. This size and this size in one die set. There's the skew for that one. Just gorgeous. And my friend Lucretia is going to make molds out of these, so... I did pick up these two, one in the small and one in the large, and I have the dies to match. So let's see if these are the same skew. They are not. So this is the skew for the little one, and this is the skew for the big one. Oh, let's zoom in better than that. And then here's the skew for the dies that match. So excited. These will be great molds. I did find only one of these, but it's a circle, so I really liked it because it's kind of steampunkish. Can you guys see the skew? Okay. Super cool. I cannot wait to use that in a mini album. I did only find one of these, but I love this. They have quite a few with crowns. Um, you know, I just love them. I, I, I do use a lot of these in my mini albums. And then I did pick up two of these small and one of the large, and I will show you the skew for the large one. It's called Large Chandelier Pendant. And then here is the smaller. And I also picked up the corresponding dies for that one. Which I thought was super awesome because, um, you know, I'm going to use them. Especially if we make these into molds, then at least I have the shape so I can cut out whatever image I want. So... I wanted to share those with you. There's a lot more. Uh, when I was in there, they were not done getting it out yet. Apparently, they had over 400 craft boxes. Most of it was yarn for the sale this weekend, but pretty cool. Um, so then I stopped at my friend Lucretia's on the way home. Um, I'm suffering from a sinus infection or something. I feel like I'm catching a cold. I have a headache, so I'm kind of, eh, today's been a day. Um, but she had sent me some really cool images um, the other day and said, oh my gosh, would you like some of these? And I'm like, well, yeah. So she's so awesome with her scan and cut. She had cut me out these. Oh, and Lancey's going to make an appearance. So I have a whole bunch of kitties for Halloween. Hi, Lancey. Super awesome of the kitties. And then she had these pumpkins. Aren't those adorable, you guys? Is that cute, Lancey? Hi, baby. He's going to, there's his whiskers in the camera. I just love the pumpkins. These are going to be great on little treat bags and stuff for Halloween. And then she cut me out these, too. And these are little corners that I can use as a tuck spot for my Halloween mini albums. So, super cool. And then, of course, I have the spiders to go with it. Lancey, look at the bugs. Get the spiders. That's your job. <laughs> and then she cut me out these beautiful crosses, and I thought it'd be really cool to do a mini album, kind of spooky with one for the um, vampires. So, for those pretty little boy. <laughs> all right, folks, you know, he actually hasn't made an appearance all week, and I think it's because it's been so hot. He's been hibernating, so it's cooled off today, and I think that might be why I'm having a sinus headache, and the weather just can't figure out what it wants to be. It went from 102 to... What, <coughs> excuse me, today's 77? Yeah, 
just crazy weather. So, <coughs> excuse me. So anyway, folks, I hope you all have a great day. And I will be back after this weekend for sure. I'm definitely uh, going to rest up before my walk this weekend. So check out your Tuesday mornings. These are beautiful. I highly recommend them, um, especially if you're even a jewelry maker or want charms for your mini albums or even embellishments for your tags. It's just gorgeous. So thanks for coming today, folks. Have a great day.